my loves, I understand how hard it is to admit when you are in an abusive relationship, especially when you were forced to normalize that abuse in order to survive the abuse. But poverty is violence. Every billionaire knows this. Once upon a time, it wasn't abnormal for humanity to understand the apathy of having a garden full of food that you cannot eat while you watch your neighbors starve. But capitalism is necromancy and we are detached from the meaning of what money is. Money is energy. Money is blood. Money is life source and those who hoard the life source while other people don't survive. It's literally, scientifically, economically, all of the sciences prove that this is not possible without exploitation. Billionaires are dependent on poverty to be billionaires. Capitalism has warped your understanding of what your resources are and what they are worth. Because a system made for money and profit over everything creates people who will do anything for profit. That's called a thief. That means it normalizes thievery. A system that is for people over everything is the only system that creates people who are for people over everything. That is how culture works. I became a sociologist because I have been a victim since I was an infant and it has always confused me why people do not recognize abuse when it's punching them in the face. So I wanted to understand that so I could do everything I could to remedy it. I've been screaming about all of these systems of abuse for 15 years, giving everyone the science behind it. Now we have TikTok. Now we have no excuse not to listen. Not just to me, to every abolitionist who has been telling you these things. What I'm saying is not new. I'm just adding new words to try to get people to pay attention because I've been studying all of you for 15 years trying to understand why their words don't make it into your brain meat. And it's because that's how abusers work. That's how cults work. That's how abusive relationships work. It's not your fault. It's not everyone screaming's fault. We are a family and our siblings are being abused in front of us. And somehow the people running the household have got us all to get used to that. Much violence has been done to everyone's minds in order to accomplish that. It is too violent to ask the siblings that are suffering the most in this system to solve it. Those who are helping us solve it are saints. But those of us that are not completely crushed under its weight need to do everything we can to lift up the voices of those who have been telling us what is going on and how to escape this cult that we are all in. They don't care about you. They're all sociopaths. And I'm not trying to get you to hate them. I'm trying to get you to understand. These people all come from places in childhoods where they were not taught to value you. They don't even understand how to feel you're who you are. They have no idea of love. They don't know what love is. That's who these people are. I don't want you to hate anyone, but I want you to fear what happens when you give the wrong people the authority in this world. They will burn it down. It's like giving a toddler the keys to your car and jumping in and going for a ride. It is not smart. It is very silly of all of us. Please, the clan never went anywhere. We were just lynching people for fun on the weekends, bringing our children to picnics to witness it. That was in the 50s. You think we went from that to just being better? We're just fine. We're not a serial, you know what, cult anymore? No loves. They are still hunting and they're hunting anyone that doesn't agree with them. You don't look white enough, you don't sound white enough, or like fascist enough. Like there, this is a dangerous, dangerous cycle that is trying to not end because we are so close to exposing it so we can all get out of it.